half eight, I'm going to bed. Because I've got to get up at half past four to go to the Royal Park half. So I better go to bed. And then I'll bring you with me tomorrow. Why do I do this? <laughs> oh, my guys, it's 4.30. Let's go get some breakfast and I'll take you through the kit that I'll be using today. Got some new items. Um, one newish. I'm starving. Looking forward to breakfast. Hi guys. Hello. It's so early. <laughs> I've got my Cocoa Pops, my Chia Seeds, very nice. How are you feeling on this fine summer's morning? I'm just tired, apart from that and all that. Mm. <laughs> Slept quite well. Yeah, good. Yeah, I didn't actually sleep too bad either. It took me a while to get to bed because um, I was going to bed earlier than normal. That meant the parrot was still up, so yeah, as you just heard, that's all I could hear last night. <laughs> parrot noises. But yeah, got my beetroot shot as well for the nitrates. Grace has got a coffee for the caffeine. Tea. Oh, tea is it? Oh, sorry. Um, and yeah, we'll be leaving about half five, I think. So maybe a bit earlier. We like to drink with Carl because Carl is our mate. Ugh. It's 4.30 in the morning and your first thought is what crappy Netflix show can I watch? It's not even Netflix. What is it then? BBC iPlayer. Oh. Sorry. Mm. BBC iPlayer. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I've had my breakfast. I've had my electrolytes in a bottle that's leaking everywhere. So it's time to take you through some of my kit. So we've got the Invicta vest again. Given my number a little bit of, you know, a little bit of spice. So put a little coal in there with a little YouTube logo so maybe people Check out the channel, you know, a bit of self promotion. Got the Runderwear Nike racing half um, split shorts. I've got some arm sleeves in case it's chilly. <clears throat> got some new socks on the agenda. So, this is a small brand called Shiyu, I think you pronounce it. But basically, these match my vapor flies, and that is a yes from me. Um, so yeah, check them out if you want some. They're completely unsponsored. It's just a very small brand. Um, they have literally started a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I just love the fact that they match my vapor flies. You know, look how cool is that? Um, they do lots of matching colours for all the top racing shoes. So check them out. Um, and then yeah, I can't wear a dressing gown like my dad did for London Marathon. So I've just got some old clothes, old tracksuit bottoms, old race t-shirts to hopefully keep me warm. So let's get changed into it. Old t-shirts, weekend. Oh. Let's get on the road. There's a random broom. In case you want to sweep the car park. So guys here with Mum and Grace. You cold? Very cold. <laughs> uh, we've come to the O2. Um, parked our car here. I don't know how much it is for the day, I think it's like 10, 15 pound. Um, and yeah, now we're just gonna get the, the tube to uh, Knightsbridge to get to the, the Royal Parks. How are we all feeling? Cold. Cold. Grace, cold. <laughs> cold. I need a tiddle. <laughs> Me too. Bro. It's too early in the morning for this. <laughs> Oh yes. So guys, we're at Knightsbridge. It's absolutely packed. 16,000 people coming to Hyde Park for the start of this run, so it was expected, but when you've got your mum and your sister dragging behind, it's not a fun journey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Grace, Hello. are you nervous? No, I just need a wee. <laughs> need a wee? Mum, are you nervous? Apprehensive. Apprehensive, that's just another word for nervous. No, well I'd rather use apprehensive. Doesn't sound quite as bad. <laughs> Oi, let's, we're British, let's enjoy the queue. Charity tents. Oh, look at those toilet queues, that's ridiculous. Yeah, we go enjoy it. So I'm trying to figure out the logistics of warming up. Um, because we have to get into the start funnel at 8.20, the race starts at 9. But in those starts funnels, if you've been in them before, you'll know there's not very much room at all. So I can't exactly just go for a two mile run in the start funnel. So, um, yeah. I remember last year I didn't actually warm up. I did some, some drills and stuff in the start one, but that was it. So. But yeah, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do about warming up. Um, might just have to take the first K a little bit easier than expected, but it's probably, it's probably a blessing in disguise. Yeah. That'd be a fast machine, maybe you could use it on a race day, something like the Great North today. Less push thing, it's faster and more responsive. Oh, yeah, it's fun. So guys, just getting ready. Race changes of shoes. I've got <laughs> shoes on. I'm about to change out my tracksuit ones into the race shoes. Um, so yeah. My left, so, so if you're right, facing me, it'll be to your right. Again. I'm a bit late. Large blue teardrop clouds and a, a tower as well yeah. saying start. Not All right. blue. Mindset's so going to a race, but look at this. Bib, that's you. Head towards those flags. They've already done the final signage, call for my number and my colour. So, so that's all I'm not going to get to the start line, but this is what it is, I guess. Runners. So guys, we finished. Didn't actually manage to film much of that at all because I had to have my bag in. I couldn't, didn't want to take a camera with me because I don't like racing with a camera. But it was a little bit of a mess at the start. But yeah, overall fourth place. Time has improved since last year. Took about 45 seconds off. Um, so obviously a year ago today, I'm fitter than I was. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's hard to say really. That course is not quick at all. Lots of turns, lots of like kind of up and downs. Doesn't get that you get into a rhythm, but nothing that I can, there's no excuses, no blames or anything. I'm just not as fit as I maybe quite hoped I was, but it's only 116, still not horrific. But now we're gonna see if we can catch Grace coming in. One thing I do have to say is, if you ever do the Royal Parks, the freebies are pretty good. Got loads of drinks and teddies and crap like that. So yeah, it's good. Tenzing, raspberry and yuzu. That ain't half bad, you know. That ain't half bad. Another freebie. So guys, Grace just went through the 20k mark. Um, I think she's on for a PB. I'm not 100% sure what her PB is, but I think she is. Um, Come on, I'm at 400 meters to go mark, so she's going to be through any minute now. Um, hopefully she can bring her at least one PB home um, to get that calling the cap for the cape, maybe. See. Come on, Grace! Come on! Catch him, the 140, keep going! Oh, hell, she's shifting. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. There's people in the way. Oh, she's shifting, she is. I'm my best. Oh, this is, a, this is a pretty good camera work, if I do say so myself. Nope. Oh. 
too hard and back and everything. Jesus Christ, not something you see every day in London. It's a bloody tiger. No, it looks lion even. Good job. Look at the size of it. Let's spot some prey. <laughs> nice. A massive shout out to Oscar who won again, the guy who beat me last year. Um, absolutely smashed, I think around 67.15, which on that course is very, very impressive. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he, he, he ran a, a low 66 on a different course, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, I don't understand how he does it. Um, in the grand scheme of things, his mind is pretty low. So his long legs, man, he's just so rapid. I don't, I don't even want to know what our tally is now between our head to heads. We're like 216 to 1 or something like that. Um, yeah, it's just a great, great runner. But um, well, I'm going to go try and find Grace. Um, but yeah, didn't quite make the podium today. But you know, positives to take. Um, fit than I was last year. Time for a little bit of rest. And then we'll come back a bit stronger, hopefully. Don't you just hate it when you see some corny advertising? Resisting the urge to buy all this nice food. Oh, look at it all. I can't explain how good all this smells. Hello. Yes. Hey, nice. Loving the vegan food. I... Oh, I'm not actually vegan, but I mean, I'll, I'll eat it. I'll eat anything. As long as it tastes good, exactly. Well done. Is that a PB? No. Oh. Definitely not. I thought that was a PB. No. I went off my watch, off the distance as a PB, but then I did like another like three, four hundred meters today. Ah. Uh, so. Not ideal. It adds a bit of time. Yeah. Should we go get your bag? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Loads of goodies. Yeah, loads of goodies. The root. I went to get my t-shirt, I went to the small, and the guy held it up and he went, are you sure? I was like, how rude! How rude! He, well, I mean, I know you're fat, but... <laughs> so what did he give you in there, medium or extra small? No, he gave me the small because that's what I wanted. What, was it, yeah, but was he saying it in a nice way, like, no. oh, you should have used an extra small? No. Like, you need an extra large. Yeah, it was more like, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, sure about that, you fatty. Yeah, you need yeah. a bigger size. But you should go run it again and then come back and get a small. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get some goodies while we wait for mum. Well done, midget. How'd you get? Game fourth. So, Grace, what do you think of the course? Is it a quick course? I think it is. Say no, say no. <laughs> It's an awkward one because I there's loads of long straights but I didn't enjoy the long straights. Yeah. Because they're dead. Yeah. Like there's no one cheering you up. Yeah. I found there was lots of bends and there was two really nice downhills. But they were too short. They weren't yeah. very short at all, were they? The uh, weren't very long at all. They were like, oh, steep. Steep downhill, but it was like 10 meters yeah. of like 3% gradient down. <laughs> and the rest of it was all long slopes up and bends and stuff. But I know. It's a great event. What would you rate the event out of 10? Compared to all the other. Yeah, so I'd say it's like a 7 out of 10 event. Yeah, 100%. It's good, but it ain't no Great North Run. It ain't no London Marathon. And it ain't no Whitstable Park run. <laughs> Afterwards, there was a guy who was like, Oh, can I take a photo? And I was like, Yeah, sure, man. Like, <laughs> no, narcissist in me thought, He thought, um, Can I get a photo with me? All he wanted me to do was take a photo of him. <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, man. I got like, I stood next to him ready to take a selfie. <laughs> And he was like, uh, no, just, just a bit. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, um, well done to yeah, every maybe single one of you from Raw Man keep on running, guys. Sure. No, just a bit. Don't about you guys. I get my water straight from coconuts. <laughs> One thing I also forgot to mention is I was bursting for the loop on the start line. It didn't impact my race, but once you start running it, it went away and I didn't feel the need. But on the start line, I was like, oh, this could cause me problems, but it didn't in the end. Go on, James. Go on, James. <laughs> Go on, James. Woo! Mum should be coming through any time now. Come on. Woo! Go on, Mum. Go on, Mum. Let's go.
Let's go, Mum. Mum, how was that? Um, yeah, I'm glad it's finished. Glad it's finished, yeah. What time did you do? Well, no, say what you wanted to do and then say what you did. I said I would be ecstatic if I was under 2.30 I, and I did, I think, something like 2.28. I've just got to tell my face that I'm ecstatic. Yeah, exactly. You're buzzing <laughs> on the inside, no? Yeah, my legs aren't. Yeah. My legs are killing me. Yeah. Well, good stuff. I think it's a good result and now we can have some well-deserved treats. I hope so. Um, yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm having some time off from running a week. No. no, you're going to go... Oh, oh. We, can't, we don't all train as hard as you guys. I'm meant to be running on Tuesday. Take it easy. Okay. See you in tomorrow. Yeah. What are you going to do to treat yourself after this half marathon? I might have a Marks and Spencer's iced bun. An iced bun from Marks and Spencer's. We are so working class, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Grace, what are you going to treat yourself with? No. You're not going to treat yourself. So you've got to live a little. You need to relax, chill out. I've lived <laughs> treat. I think my cold age of 19. Treat yourself by making a chocolate cake and giving half to Carl. You, you, I wouldn't have to give you half of it, you'd eat it anyway. Yeah, true that, true yeah, that. Like a Marks and Spencer's spiced ice bun with a skinny latte. Why don't you just go for a full latte? No, I like skinny. You like skinny? I've had skinny milk for half a I. I'm gonna have a Chinese takeaway. I haven't had one in about. Well, it's pretty. It's pretty nearly a year since like we last had a Chinese takeaway, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Oh, I've been craving one for ages. So that's what I'm having tonight. Back at Maystone before my back at uni tomorrow morning. So yeah, a nice Chinese takeaway. Thank you very much. Oof. Those stairs are a no from me, Chief. I think whoever puts these signs up has the hardest job in the world. I respect their agility. My mortal enemy. We meet again. Oh, stairs. Fuck you, stairs. Just kidding, it's actually not that bad. One thing between me and you guys, because I'm, because I'm your friend, when you uh, drink beetroot juice, do not be alarmed by the colour of your urine. That's all I'm going to say. Read, read into that what you will. <sighs> so guys, we are back. Got a bag full of goodies from the run. Quickly take you through it. Can't, uh, uh, can't see that. All right. Nice little bear. To go with my bear from last year. A little line, can't complain. We've got a can of Tenzing. We've got a can of Tenzing. We've got a can of Tenzing. Oh, and we've got a can of Tenzing. Oh, oh a can of Tenzing. A banana that has been severely bashed. The finished t shirt. Which is actually quite nice this year. Last year it was black. This year, got a nice, nice little red number. Very, very nice. Arm sleeves. Um, I believe this is a snood. Let's have a look. It is. It's a snood. That ain't half bad actually. You know, with like all the, the leaves and stuff on it. Nice. Hydration tablets, hydration tablets. Another can of Tenzing. <laughs> Another can of Tenzing. And my medal, which is 100% sustainable and whatnot. But guys, yeah, 71 17, I think, in the end. So, yeah, about 42 seconds quicker than I did uh, exactly a year ago. And if I'm honest, I consider that a W. I consider that a, uh, a big win. Um, because the last six months have been completely different to the six months I had last year. So last year I did a, a, lot, a lot more kind of half marathon based training. This year I've done a lot more track stuff and then still come away with a quicker time. So um, I don't think I'd be upset about that. It's early start, a lot of time on feet beforehand, no warming up, um, a long drive to London. Um, 
so in the grand scheme of things, I think I think I've got to be happy with that. To be honest, I know I know I've got a lot more in the tank long term, but I'm 21. I'm 21. I've got years of half marathons ahead of me. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got plenty and plenty of time um, to be kind of stressing about the little nitty gritty one percent of of what I'm training for at the moment. Um, but yeah, overall great event. Really enjoyed it. Support was great. The gr the one really good thing about the course is just it's so scenic. It's so nice. Not the quickest in the world, but how many really, really quick courses are there actually around? Not that many. Um, but yeah, overall, had a really, really good day out. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say other than that, really. Um, pacing, I think, was fine. It's just, again, I don't have the long runs in the legs or the training in the legs currently um, to feel good at the end of a, mar of a half marathon. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel like I went off too quick, too slow, didn't have any stomach problems. Um, I think I just did as as good as I could do on the day, and and, and I think sometimes we, we overcomplicate things, and I think, if I'm honest, that's all I had in me today. So, yeah, pretty, you know, so-so about it. I'm not over the moon, but I'm also not beating myself up either. I'm going to go and get showered, and then I'm going to head back to uni, um, because I've got a lecture in the morning, so it saves me driving there in the morning. Um, and yeah, I'm going to treat myself to a Chinese takeaway tonight, so I hope you've enjoyed, the, <laughs> enjoyed guys. Um, if you did run, let me know how you did in the comments. Um, and to you guys that came and said hello, much appreciated. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I've got about 27 cans of Tenzing to go through. Um, but yeah, loads and loads of freebies at the end of the course. So yeah, good stuff. One thing I forgot to say, guys, just before I end off today's video, is um, that I'm actually going to take a couple weeks off of like training now. Um, it's been a long time since I've had like a, a week off. From running i can't remember the last time i had a week off um, and the body feels tired it feels long term fatigued so i think it's the right thing to do i'd rather obviously keep running i love running i wouldn't do it if i didn't enjoy it um but i think my body just needs you know a few days off just to recuperate so my plan is to have three to four solid days off and then i'll kind of do like the odd cross train here and there. I might go for a little cycle or a little swim um just for a couple of days and then i'll do a week of easy running easy run on day off easy run on day off that sort of thing and then back to training um so the first few cross country races of the season kind of november early december are just gonna be part of training uh, there's not gonna be a massive kind of oh i really hope i do well at this because obviously i want to run well but if i haven't done the training um then what can i expect really so yeah gonna be taking it easy for a couple of weeks so i'll keep keep the content out don't, i'm not going away for, for a couple of weeks so um don't have to worry um just obviously it's not going to be really kind of filming my running just maybe filming some videos about running or whatever so anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed today's video please like subscribe show me running buddies it's free for you and it means a lot to me i need an app i need to drive to uni i need a chinese takeaway and i'll catch you in the next one peace